Hello fish lovers and welcome to my channel. Do you know that I have the same CO2 tank injecting CO2 into this tank for more than two and a half years? Let me show you guys how I do that. If you look closer guys and this hanger along with my clothes you can see something strange over there and that is my industrial CO2 tank that I have been installed and running continuously 24-7 into my aquarium for more than two years. I have bought this for cheap. It was full of CO2. When I have bought it, the line was about here because it was really cold and the condensation line was about here. So nearly full. I did bolt it to the wall, keep it in place, not to go anywhere. I don't want this to fall down. Who knows what can happen with such a large CO2 tank under pressure. And I can do some fine adjustment to the CO2 bubble count from here. You can see it right over here, how to increase or decrease the CO2 ca uh, bubble count. Right now it's going faster. And right now, slower. And in here, in this bubble counter, I have added some uh, air conditioning oil. So this oil is here for 12 and a half years. The first time I installed this, I used it water, and the water slowly disappears from here because it evaporates, but oil does not. So this is why it's a maintenance-free CO2 bubble counter. You just have to add some oil. It doesn't really have to be air conditioning oil. You can use cooking oil or something that you have around the house. Okay. I do not know how long this tank will keep me because there is no way to figure out how, how much CO2 is left inside. If only I have weighed this uh, tank when I first bought it and, and bring it uh, in my house and weigh it again now, but I didn't do that so I can't really know for sure. Just for aesthetics reason I have installed this CO2 tank, this industrial CO2 tank right here in a corner along with my clothes and this hanger just to cover it up a little so it doesn't bother me at all I have no no business here in this corner right over to the entry door and with a long hose I can get the CO2 to my tank and this is the spot in my tank where the CO2 ends up into my CO2 reactor. You can see it right over there. Yeah, the tiger barbs are hungry. Go away. Go. So the bubbles slowly rise to the top and they slowly become smaller and smaller until they dissolve and the CO2 gets mixed with the water and along with my new uh, neon lights because the LED strips was not a good idea for uh, my plants. I have a beautiful Anubias growth here. I have a lot of giant Valisneria. It's growing out again. I, I don't have any more plants now because of the driftwood in my tank. But the CO2 addition to any planted aquarium is a real must have if you want nice healthy plants and fast growing plants as well. Plants do grow really nice, strong and fast with CO2. But you really must be careful because too much CO2 will kill your fish. And yeah, this is the reason guys that I have one CO2 tank that is running into this 400 liters tank for more than two and a half years. 
and it's, I think it's going to run a lot more. I don't know how much it's going to, to last, but I think there's like 40 liters of CO2 in that tank because it took me and a friend to carry it here in my apartment and it was super, super heavy. But I, I, I think I done a great, great deal. It's cheaper. I have bought it for 50 euros and it's running from uh, back in 2016, so it's 2018 now and it's great. I don't have to worry about CO2, I don't care, I know it's working, I have a lot in there and I just set it and forget it and this is how I like it. Right, okay guys, thanks for watching this video, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do a lot of uh, fish keeping videos, do it yourself projects. I have a playlist with a lot of videos where I can sh I show you how I build this tank. And if you like my videos, guys, and like fish keeping, consider subscribing. And have a great day, guys. See you guys later. Bye.